Morning, local jewelry maker Susan Esler is in the spotlight for her work. Michael Sobeck joins us live from Zero Degrees Art Gallery in Marquette to tell us how you can get some of this jewelry and support the maker. Good morning again, Michael. Good morning again, ladies. Good morning again, Elizabeth. First off, this is already, we've been talking about all of uh, Susan's work. There's a lot of cool things. So I have Susan with me yet again. We're going to talk about a, this in particular centerpiece right here because there's a cool story about it. So give me the rundown of what, how this piece came to be. Well, I was accepted into Art on the Rocks last year, and so I decided I wanted to do a collaborative piece. I asked photographers to um, give me some photos. Aaron Peterson was one of the photographers I was working with. He couldn't really decide whether it was the sight of a trout or a drone shot. And so what I did was I combined the two of them. Um, the trout has uh, little touches with the um, jade and carnelian uh, that are in the pattern. And then I used the drone shot, which shows the stream that's running through. And the left-hand side is actually riveted in with um, brass and sterling silver. The back of it is sterling silver. And then those are some beads that I had that I thought would, would set it off really well. Absolutely. It's, it's very pretty. And the, the color transition from like the oranges to the blue is really, really nice. How long did it take to make that design? Well, I mean, the design itself, just trying to figure out, looking at the two images um, and trying to figure out the challenge. But one of the things that was very obvious to me was the shape of the stream, um, the beauty of the side of the trout, and also that aerial shot of just having that drone shot. And it's a unique way of looking at nature. Absolutely. I, I, I know I have, even my dad is a fisherman, and like to see the, the, comp, the, the, the two things come together, I know my mom loves this kind of jewelry. Local jewelry is always really nice to see. Um, it, it's just really nice. What is, aside from this one, because this one's already cool, what's one of your favorite that are up here right now? Well, um, I also like uh, this piece that I did. Um, it's actually a new technique that um, I took a class on with electroplating. And so my husband said I looked like a mad scientist with the <laughs> electroplating. Um, but I did the enamel. Um, it is utilizing Limoges and did some scraffito, which is scratching through some liquid enamel and firing it a bunch of different times, doing the artwork, and then putting it in the electroplating, which gives it the idea of almost embroidery. That's really cool. Well, for, thank you very much. This is, it's so cool to see all of your work, and thank you for joining me this morning. For those who are looking for, to not only see Susan, but also the high schooler who is the mentor artist, she, they are also another that's Jocelyn Vokes, and her artwork is in the other room. They're the highlight guests, so definitely come in. Their reception is Saturday from 1 to 4. There'll be beverages, and there'll be fun, there's fun moments to meet the artists. So that will all be linked on our website at UpMissionSource.com. So definitely come by and check out the artists. It's back to you, ladies. All right, what an incredible process she goes through yeah. for those pieces. All right, your top stories are on the way.